Hello, welcome to my channel Tazono Mio Online Mathematics. Uh, today we want to take the introduction into the second aspect of calculus, the integration. Good. So we are going to then have a brief introduction to the, the subject before we will deal with calculations in the next uh, episode. So these are some of the terms associated with what integration. So one we can say it is the process of finding a function from its derived function. A derived function in this case could be the integration, uh, could be the differentiation of a function. Or we can also say that it is the reverse or inverse of what differentiation. It is the inverse of differentiation. It means if I have a function and differentiate it, that differentiated function, which is a derived function, can be converted back into the function we are looking for. So converting the derived function back into the original function becomes integration. Then it is the process of summing or adding up parts together or putting up parts to become what a whole if we have part of function when you group them or add them up to become a whole you are also doing what they call integration then we can also say it is called the anti-derivative you know derivative means differentiation so the anti-derivative will also give us the definition for what integration it is always represented by the symbol which look like x so this symbol is the elongated word s so you are just writing s but you, know, you make your x elongated a little bit that becomes the symbol for integration so integration sign with the function dx is red if you want to read this this is going to be the integral of what fx that is the integral of the function with respect to what x with respect to x so in this case the function is always placed between the elongated x and dx the dx is always added in conjunction with what integration sign so that the function will always be in between so the dx here is only tell us which function or which variable is to uh, do what integrated so it means I can have elongated a function of t, the word t. So the t here is only telling me that the variable in the function I am to integrate is going to be what t. So the whatever variable we see here is tell us which variables in the function to be integrated. All right. That simply means that if I have a function, we know this will be the same as this which is the function then if I am looking for the derivative of this is going to be dy dx which will be this of the function which will be the differentiation now if I want to get back the function you know this is the function now this is the derivative this is the dy dx if I want to get back my function that is where I'm going to use the antiderivative. So it's going to be the integral of dy dx. Then we have what? Our dx. Don't forget, this is always there to show that the function we are differentiating is what? x. So this which is the same as what? This. After performing this, will give us what? y. And that will still be what? The function of this. You know, dy dx is this, whereby this is the original function. So if I integrate the dy dx, meaning if I'm finding the integral, the inverse of this, I'll go back into the original function. So what this is saying is that it is the process of finding the function, finding the function from it derived for function. So this is the derived function, I'm trying to find the original function, then the integration will be used. 
more refinedly or definitely if i have y equals to let's say 3x as a function let me add square to it if this is the function i am looking for we know our dy dx is going to be the integration differentiation of this function which become 6 x as the function this is going to be our dy dx if i'm to uh, differentiate this i'll be having this now for us to be able to get back this that is where we're going to use integration so now the integral of 6x with respect to x will give us back our 3x what squared so you can see we have gotten back the original function from it derived we didn't even touch this we are touching what the derived function but we are able to get back the original word function that is all about what um, integration bringing back the original function from it derived function all right let's go a step further let's say we have y equals to x squared plus one which is the function we want to find the dy dx of that that is the differentiation so we are going to have dy dx which is going to be if i differentiate this i'll be having what 2x if i differentiate a constant i'll be having zero so this is what i'm going to have if in case i have y equals to x squared plus 10 and i also want to find dy the x of this we are going to have this coming over to multiply to give us 2x then if we differentiate the constant you will still end up getting what zero so finally let's see we have y equals to x squared minus 5 then our dy dx is going to be 2x differentiating a negative 5 will still give us what zero so this is what we are going to have but you can see the original functions are different so if in case i am to find the integral of 2x with respect to that i am going to from here in this case i am only going to say that my answer is going to be x squared plus one let me also come to this place it will be integral of 2x dx will also be given as what where is the original going to be x squared plus what 10 but you'll be asking yourself how will you be able to know that there will be a 10 to add there will be a 1 to add and here there will also be a negative 5 to add so it means that if you are differentiating uh, integrating a function there is always an arbitrary constant being added because i may not be able to be sure that the constant to add is 1 or the constant will be 10 or the constant will be a negative 5 so it means if you are differentiating any function there should be an arbitrary constant because definitely this without the plus 1 is also going to give us what 2x in that case it means that if i add a constant that constant is going to be zero so it means in every differentiating if i differentiate a function uh, integration integral of this function with dx to give us what y plus what c where the c become the constant of arbitrary or the arbitrary word constant or constant of what integration so i think we are able to have the the terms in connection of what integration so now let's see how the integration is performed you know when we have integral of 2x dx we were saying that this will be giving us x squared plus a constant you know the constant could be 1, 5, 
10 or anyone. How do we manage to get this? That's where the formula will come. So if you are going to perform an integration, let's say the integration of AX exponent, as you can see, it could be exponent 1, even though it's not there, there's a 1 there, with our dx, since we are going to integrate the function, the variable x. This will give us, we are going to increase the, the power. So this is going to be a x n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus what? C. Let's see into this. There's a power here, which is 1. So 1 plus 1, that will give us 2, which means 2x exponent 2, divided by what? The 1 plus 1, which is going to be 2. So 2 divided by 2 will give us the x exponent 2 alone. So if you are performing any integration, you know we are saying that in differentiating, if you have dy, dx, we are going to, if I have y equals to ax exponent n, what happens is that this is going to come forward and multiply. So n a x n minus 1. You see, this comes to multiply. Then we subtract. And we are saying integration is what? Inverse. We know the inverse of multiplication will be division. That of what? Um, subtraction will be addition. So since we are doing subtraction under differentiation, we are going to do addition in what? Integration. Since we are doing multiplication of the exponent, we are going to do what? The division of the exponent. Here, the only difference is that we add before we divide. Here, we multiply before we subtract. You can see, it could have been, if we are following this, it could have been the n coming to divide before we add. But here, the addition before the division. Alright. So, in this case, if I have y equals to Let's say we have 3x squared, and I'm asked to find the integration, which is going to be integral of 3x squared. In this case, we add what? The x, meaning we are doing the integration with respect to our x. What are we going to do? This is going to be 3x squared plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c, the c always comes if you are doing indefinite integration. This is indefinite because we didn't even know whether the one we added first could be there or the 10 we are supposed to add should be there. It means it's indefinite. The constant could be anything. So now in this case, this is going to be 3x, 2 plus 1 will also be 3. 2 plus 1 here will be 3. 3 as a common factor will cancel. So since we are having this, so plus c, so common factor cancel for us to have x to the power 3 plus what? c. This is a brief introduction of that. In the next episode, we will take various different kinds of what, integration. How we can perform that, whether it is going to be integration of a constant and all those things. If you are okay with this, don't forget to share with somebody who might need this. Leave a comment for us to get interactive. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Bye-bye.